Hello, Tail Boom Terry here. I'm here today to talk about a camera for your helis or just a very versatile camera, small camera. There's a lot of videos on uh, YouTube about the 808. I bought an 808 for my helis, mainly to fly on the V912 and uh, uh, the V949. And uh, the camera I'd come up with for the price and uh, the size would be the 808. I went out to Walmart or Wally World as we call it here. I bought a case for it um, to put the cables and the camera itself fits in the outer slot real nice. As you can see it's very small, very compact and uh, for the price, I think I paid around $43 for this camera on uh, eBay, and it is an unbelievable camera. This one happens to have a wide angle lens because when I fly very high, I want to get a wide field of view. Um, the camera itself has a, a DV, DV mode, a photo mode, um, a recording in motion detection mode, and a driving mode. Um, it's kind of really unique for the price. Um, when you first charge it, it takes about three hours to charge it up. And you charge it through a normal USB. And uh, it's on the side. It comes with that cable. It also comes with a, um, which is kind of nifty if you want to do it, a cigarette lighter plug and a cable to charge it through your car which is really, really unique for the price. I mean, you can't beat it. The, the camera is an HD camera. It records in 12.8 uh, by 7.20 or 6.40 by 4.80. It's your choice what you want to do. Um, I record in HD, of course, because of, you know, being high. It uh, Photos are five millimeter, or five megapixels and three megapixels, which is great. Memory card up to uh, 32 gigabyte, and it has to be a class four or above. And you can buy the memory card at Walmart. That's where I bought mine. I put an eight gig card in it, and uh, I've done a lot of video on it. it it's fine. It's, uh, the eight gig card's pretty cheap, but if you want to go 32, that's fine too. It has uh, the adjustments. You can do the sound adjust from the recording of the video from zero to, um, I think it's like three, which is the loudest, zero being the smallest. Um, you can set up the exposure level uh, from minus one to plus one. You can set the time and date. Or you can delete the time and date. I mean, it's an amazing camera. There's four LEDs over here. And uh, them LEDs will tell you whether you're recording video or recording um, pictures or in driving mode and such like that. Um, I would advise everybody if you want to get a, get one of these, it's great. I put Velcro on the bottom, and you just you can just put Velcro on your heli or V949 or whatever your little heart's desires, and uh, you're ready to fly. The video comes out, when you do your video like this, the video will be upside down. I have Windows 7, I can just install it, plug the camera in, go to a movie or a quick movie maker, it'll convert it to a movie maker, and then it'll be upside down, and then there's a, one movie maker, there's a thing where you can flip it, and you flip the video around, so now, now you're looking at it right side up. And then you can edit the video, add music, or do whatever you want. So it's pretty much plug and play. $43 off the internet. Comes with all the cables. Batteries in here. I've dropped it a couple times. Um, my best advice to you, if you put it to a heli, or, you yeah, know, right there I dropped it. If you put it to a heli, or anything else you're flying, you want to tether it. I take the string and tether it over here in case it comes loose. Um, it doesn't fall from the sky. And I think it would survive the fall. The problem is when you're so far out, if it falls, find in the camera because it's black and it's so small. So you want to make sure you tether it. And I use a bright string to tether it just in case something happens there. 
Um, I use like a fluorescent string, so just in case I can find the camera pretty easily. Um, I don't know what else to tell you about this camera. Um, there's a, a shutter button and an on and off up here on the right top. The uh, lower left buttons do nothing. They, they're kind of fake. They don't do a thing. You can't even press them. But the upper ones power on. And then you can go, the bottom one is mode, like if you want to do a video, or you don't want to do a photo, or you want to do motion detection. And uh, car mode, it takes a picture, I don't know, about every two, I think two minutes or so. And then it records, it just keeps recording, and then eventually records over top of that. So, um, I don't know why you would use it in car mode, but, you know, that's fine if that's what you want to do. You have to figure out what's best for you. But it is a good camera. I would say buy it, use it. Um, I've been using a tar out of this thing, and it's been working terrific. The HD videos are really good. Wide angle is good for helicopters. If any of you are, are wondering what lens should I buy, because I know there's two or three different lenses out there for the 808. The wide angle on helicopters is spectacular because you get that wide field of view. And um, I think that's uh, really key when you're flying uh, planes or helicopters. I am going to put it in an airplane and try it in an airplane. Um, I'd like to come in low to the field and go back up again and see what it does, kind of like strafing the field, so to speak. But um, buy it, get your videos on YouTube, let's see what it looks like, let's see how you like it. Um, the following video is a couple videos with this camera in um, the, the V949 and the V912. Um, I'll post a short video following this segment just to give you a, a view of what it looks like, what it can do. Um, I wish the days were better here. Most of our days are cloudy and storms rolling in. It's just that time of year. Once it gets real sunny, I'll post some more videos. So, look forward to seeing you. and. Uh, Thanks for all your questions. You've been emailing me, and uh, thanks for uh, finding me on Facebook and asking me to do a video about this camera. So, thank you. I want to show you the videos now. Hold on, don't go anyplace.